Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the full face of my newest products. I, these are products that I've been lying in my cupboard I've used probably once and I just stopped because I've been getting so much makeup. I already have foundation and primer done just because I didn't have like a really new one. I've got both. I've got all my foundation so I'm using them like 10 times each. But I do have concealers and all the rest of the stuff. I might have like a lip product or brow product. Oh sorry, I'm so tired, but yeah. You have to try the Celtic Pure Water, it is amazing. I know it's because I'm so thirsty. But anyways, next step is concealer. Uh, my god, my table's wet. Okay. Uh, let me just go get my concealer and I'll be right back. Okay. Whoa. I'm back. And the concealer that I've decided to use is the Collection Last Infection. I have used this a couple of times, but I didn't like it. But, you know, now's the time to try it. And um, the baby cream, I didn't use a foundation because I wanted to give this concealer a first shot. Just, so you know, so you could get a fair look of what the concealer looks like. I'm just going to get a little bit in the back of my hand. I like to just blend that in with my finger. I'm going to go now and get a sponge and I'll be right back. It's Uh, do you remember is when I eat like I do I need to there, I'll keep it in these I'll keep it in these jars. I don't know if I want to use a sponge or my peanut blender. I'll use my sponge just because it's a little bit more damp than my peanut blender. So, like it does the fair one is still too dark for me. Like I do think the I like it's not the bad but I think the zero zero, which is the new shade out, would be a little bit better for me. Just pretend, just like per personal preference. Um, you're gonna know, sorry. Like it does. Oh. Oh oh, it's clinging to the dry patches around my nose. This used to be like a holy grail product for some people. It's just. I have a few spots and it's clinging to a load of the dry patches in my eyes, which not a lot of concealers do. And I have quite a lot of. It's quite. It's just not a good. It's not like a good quality concealer, but then it was like 4 19 I think. Which I can't really expect from a concealer, but I have a cheaper concealer and it works better, so. I don't know. It's kind of burning my face as well. Like, it feels. Right, burning and again clinging to dry patches around my forehead and stuff so I don't know <clears throat> but she's gonna get a little bit more like concealer just because I think it's covering as much as I would like it to and uh, yeah I'm just gonna take another little bit of this concealer Around my nose because I don't want to try to see if it's boldable and a little bit of my spots. I have quite a lot of spots actually. A little bit of my scars and stuff just because I didn't try to cover those up. A little bit of my cheeks just because the baby cream didn't really cover up as much of my cheeks as I thought I would like it to. And let's see. Oh, it blends out a little bit. I'm trying to see if it literally. It actually isn't even, it's still not perfect, but like it's just clinging to the dry patches and not blending out, which is like what a concealer isn't meant to do. 
like again as i said it was quite cheap so i could let me just move these back because she's a do up close there we go perfect yeah so uh, it does look a little bit yellow which is okay because i can like add bronzer and stuff but i usually use like pink tone concealer just because i'm a little i'm more pinky than yellow but you know it, it, i've raved on about this concealer but it's okay and also it's, the packaging is very bad because i only have this for about two days and it's already like so my newest powder um because i'm my this concealer isn't that great i am gonna bake but this isn't a good this is my newest powder but i like to scrape this because i have no loose powders at the moment but my newest face powder is this and i'll talk about that in a little minute when i've actually got my powder my when i've got my loose powder on there we go so i'm just gonna take a beauty sponge and dip into the powder Pack on the powder underneath my eyes. Okay. So I'm only after looking up from using the powder, like you should think. Okay, so she's put some powder on. It should all be blended out. It's left like brown indents in my face. But I've used this powder before and it worked like fine. So, you know, I'm kind of worried about that. So. Huh. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to take whatever was left in this. That kind of concerns me, seeing that the powder is leaving brown marks in my face. So I don't know if that's what it's meant to do or not. But, like, I've used this before and it didn't. So I don't know if it's a combination between maybe it's some sponge I'm using or maybe the powder is just like going out of date. But I only got this a few weeks ago. And it says it's late, like it's okay for like 12 months. I'm gonna try it. I'm actually just gonna set my whole face with this because this powder. Okay, no. I set my whole face with this because I do I haven't even tried this powder that much. And the last time I checked, it was okay. Okay, I suppose. Um, but no, I will not be using that again. So I'm gonna set my face with this. I'm gonna use my um, these are my Fuchsia Beauty. These are the Fuchsia Beauty professional makeup brushes in 106 liquid powder liquid or something like that. So, yeah, I, what the hell, this concealer is creasing, I've said it, but I don't know if it's because of the powder, it probably is, because that powder is from Poundland, um, it is, I used to use that all the time, and I was like, why, why did I use that? bronzer is my Stila bronzer in I don't know but this is a Stila bronzer and it's not the easiest to blend out which is what I I've used this once and I do, do you see like it's kind of pink almost and it just won't blend out that's kind of proper. And then when I do blend it, when I do get it blended out, it's almost gone. So, you know, like I've tried to steal products before and that did not happen. So I was, it's actually kind of concerning seeing that it's doing that. I don't know. It's probably just something from the formula, but I don't know. Now this is, I haven't got a new blush, so I'm just going to use my favourite all-time blush. It's so pretty, 
So it's like that, it's like this rosy, pinky, pleasant highlighter. And I'm going to use, it's a highlighter, but I'm, I use it as a blush because it's pink. And I'm actually just going to use my Vivid Big Highlighter in Roll and Roll Delights. I'm going to spray my, my makeup brush with some Profex spray. So, this is really good for me if you want your highlighter to pop. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a really pretty hot. Oh, there. There you go. You can't see that. Okay, I really like this highlighter. Do you see that? Do you see, do you see that glow? <laughs> so for eyeshadow, I haven't really got a new eyeshadow palette, but, but, I want to try this out because I want to use it a couple of times, but it isn't new. These are my two like little boxy palettes. Um, so, should I do my eyebrows first? I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. But because I'm gonna do eyebrow products, I'm gonna try mixing two of these. And they are shimmer, but they're not very noticeable. I hope. So, I'm going to take a little bit of the lighter brown and the darker brown. Because honestly, I have nothing else to do for my eyebrows. I'm not good at my eyebrows either, so like. It wouldn't have really mattered what I used, it would still turn out bad. So, yeah. These are actually pretty eyeshadows. Eyeshadow colors. So the eyebrow is on, but it's not, it's not anything fancy because obviously This eyebrow always turns out better. I don't know what it is. Now I'm gonna do some eyeshadow. I am shite at eyeshadow, so this isn't gonna go too good. But anyways, so I'm going to start by taking this like, oh, there's an eye primer. We'll use that eye primer. So I'm gonna take this eye primer on my finger. I'm just gonna put a little bit in this. It's like a silicone mousse. You see, feeling like it feels it feels actually quite good, actually. Please subscribe to my brother, Shano. Also, this is Wolfgang Dylan. And then subscribe to his best friend, the Gamesman888, I think it is. Or 88, I can't remember. So I don't know if this will set. But I kind of hope it does. But just in case. Okay, so there is two colours. But I'm going to go with this one. And I'm just going to... I'm actually going to mix the two creams. Because, uh, I don't know. I want to try and give them a fresh shot. Because this one's a little bit more light. And this one's a bit more yellow. So together, I think they'll make the perfect kind of shade. No? <sighs> okay, so... These are all shimmers, but I haven't got new eye stuff, so I'm going to take this like, it's like a mauve brown, I'm going to take the brown that I use for my eyebrows out of this palette, so like, I put that crease, working it into the centre. Um, and, uh, yeah. This is a makeup look that I've been doing for about two years because I love these like mauvey, brownie, purpley shades, but I haven't been using the palette, so I don't know how good they actually are. And for being shimmer shades, like they're actually not that shimmery. Like it's not noticeable, like my highlighter, but like apart from everything else, that's good. So I'm just trying to blend this out just a little bit more. Just to keep it nice and sharp. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to take is this clean blending brush. 
I'm going to dip into the lighter brown shade just to make sure that it all blends out evenly. And, uh, yeah. Because I'm thinking of doing something like a cup crease. And then, like, a really glittery cup crease. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> with a glitter liner. So I'm going to have to go and fill that sealer. And just line up my eyes, which I not looking forward to so I'm just gonna put a little dot of concealer on my eye and I'm gonna take like this little flat brush take this flat brush and just carve out an eye shape and I'm gonna blend I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer on the brush and uh, I can't talk while I'm doing this just because in case I go on the wrong part. I'll bring it down just so it's like. And then I'm gonna take my finger and blend it, like just pat it in. So yeah, and then I'm gonna do this eye. This is the eye that I'm most worried about because it's my opposite eye. And no, that, that's okay with my opposite eye. Just go blend, pop, 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 pop. So that actually worked okay, I suppose. For me, like, that worked okay. The concealer, again, is clingy to dry patches. It's gonna crease. So I'm just gonna set that with a bit of powder. Same brush. I'm just gonna set that with a little tiny, tiny pot of powder. Or the light shade. So yeah, I've just set that down a little bit. And now I'm going to take um, this little light, it's like a fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into the light pink shade and I'm going to put that where I put the concealer. But I'm going to spread my brush just because, why not? And I also have some new glitter liners that I wanted to test, so I suppose we'll test them as well. Okay, so this actually looks actually pretty. For like being eyeshadows that I've never even tested before. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Um, so what I'm going to do now is use this Tanya Burr. This is the Tanya Burr Limited Edition. I don't know if it's Limited Edition, but the box said that it was. Glitter liner in gold and something like this little brush. And see where that line is where the concealer and the eyeshadow stops? I'm just gonna line that with a bit of glitter liner. I can't close my eyes until this glitter. I can't open my eyes. I can't open my eyes until this glitter is dried. Unfortunately. But that's the way it is. If I want any glitter, I can't open my eyes. So yeah, that is actually a pretty liner. Okay, I can open my eyes now. That is actually a pretty eye look. Um, but now I'm going to put on some Barrier Masai Roll Mascara. This is new as well. Um, first impression, whoa. It does, uh... <laughs> And that is the eye look. Um, the last thing is lips. And my most new lip product is this Juicy Lips. So I'm gonna use this and then I'm... Okay, I'm gonna put some 
That's not long just because I need my lips to be moisturized for this. Because it's much. So, so now I'm going to apply my Technic Juicy Lips. This is the finished makeup look. It is really pretty, I'm not gonna lie, but <sighs> I don't know, it's just I'm not good at makeup. Oh, we need to set it, so let's set it. I'm not good at makeup, so <laughs> this is the best it's gonna get. And yeah, I think it's really pretty. I don't like the lip color too much. If you can see, like, it's kind of picking up in the dry patches on my lips. Uh, the highlighter is so pretty. I turn my head. Is that normal? So, I don't know. It looks pretty good to me. But, I don't know. It's up to you guys, honestly. So, please like and subscribe and please give it a big thumbs up. My eyes are burning because the liquid liner is going into my eyes. And um, please see you.